And welcome back to Local 5 Live. We are heading into a heavy eating time frame here. <laughs> so today we're showing you a lightened up fall Thanksgiving dessert, which We've got is a our, good thing. Yep, always talented UW Green Bay dietetic interns, Nicole, Abby, and Michaela are here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, Nicole, let's start with you. What are we making this morning? We're making a healthier version of pumpkin bread. Oh, okay, we can yeah. eat that all throughout the holidays. All right, what are we doing? Go ahead, Nicole, get us started. All right, so first we're going to start with a third of a cup of coconut oil. It's a healthier alternative than butter. It doesn't mm -hmm. contain any cholesterol in it. Okay. And then next we're going to have a half a cup of maple syrup. Cool. It's a healthier alternative than using white sugar or brown sugar, and it comes right from Wisconsin's maple trees. And we want to use the pure maple syrup, yes. right? Not the processed. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> then we're going to be adding a, one cup of pumpkin. It's very important when you're purchasing pumpkin from a grocery store to look at the ingredients, making sure there's no added sugars, preservatives, anything like that. Sure. Of course, if you're getting it from an actual pumpkin from your pumpkin patch, <laughs> then you don't need to worry better. about it. I've tried that. It's extremely hard. Yeah. <laughs> then, we're, then we're going to add two eggs okay. to that, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then our last wet ingredient that we're going to add is a fourth of a cup of 1% milk. You can choose oh. water or any milk that you choose. If you have oh, a, you can use water? Yeah. Oh, or if no. you have a dairy allergy, you can use coconut milk or soy milk. Yeah, okay. so I'm just going to incorporate these wet ingredients. Now, is the coconut oil, can you, can you use that in a lot of other recipes instead of butter? Absolutely, or you can use it to saute vegetables. Um, it's a great fat replacement if you're looking for something, again, that has no cholesterol in it. Great. Okay, yeah. Abby, you're going to put the dry ingredients together for yep, us. What do we have? we're combine the dry ingredients in a separate bowl. So first, we're going to start with a one and three-fourths cup of white wheat flour. Okay. And white wheat flour is just richer in fiber and other nutrients okay. than the white refined flour. Does it kind of cook the same and everything? Yeah. I'm always worried it's, okay. No, it's All right. very similar. <laughs> And then we have one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie seasoning, which is mostly cinnamon, which is a great antioxidant. And then a half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda, both of which are just important for baking to make sure it turns out right. Okay. So we've, we're mixing our wet, we're mixing our dry. Michaela, yep. what are you going to mix for us? I'm going to mix them together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it okay. pretty easy, you guys, to try to... You know, if we search around on the internet, try to find lightened up ways to make things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely. So what do we do? So I'm just going to add this directly to the wet ingredients. Okay. And I'm just going to mix it together. And you can add whatever you want to it. So you can add like dried fruit. You can add M Ms. Just kidding. Sure. <laughs> Dang, Michaela. Dark chocolate okay. M Ms. Maybe. Dark yeah. chocolate. Oh, well, there, there you go. go. It's yeah. Great yeah. source antioxidants again. <laughs> <laughs> They've always got the best ingredients, but. So then uh, you've got, these yep. are for the top, right? So or actually, you're going to mix them in. Yeah, so who doesn't love dark chocolate in yeah. everything? So we're going to add dark chocolate chips, about a half a cup. You can add more if you'd like. So okay. we're just going to mix this together. And then All once right. we get it in our sprayed um, bread pan, yes. how long does it go in the oven? And so what temperature? About So 350 degrees for about 60 minutes um, or until the toothpick comes out clean. Oh, sure. Yeah. So does and this I, save a lot of fat grams then doing it this way? Fat, sugar. Fat, yeah. and it's healthier fat and a healthier source of sugar. Yeah, awesome. Yep. And have you guys tasted it? Do, yes. do you notice? Yes. Like a, it's good, yeah? It's very good. Oh, well, Shelly and I will have to take some because here is the finished product, and it looks Beautiful. amazing. And nobody will know you use those lightened up uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. You guys are always so full of great advice and great recipes. Thank you for coming today. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for having us. If you would like the recipe, you can find it on our website, wearegreenbay.com slash local5live.